Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Well, if you have bought a new laptop or a desktop, congratulations. And I'll tell you a few very important must do things on a new laptop. And please make sure you watch the whole video because it will be very helpful for you if you have purchased a brand new laptop or even if you are a newbie to your computer. So the very first thing here is to uninstall unwanted applications in your computer and for that you just need to do a right click and then go to run and here type appwiz.cpl. Once you have typed it, hit enter or click on OK. And when you have bought a new computer, there will be many softwares like Blotware, freewares will be there and please make sure that you uninstall any unwanted thing if you do not know about that you can particularly search about that program on your phone and then uninstall it it will be very helpful for you if you uninstall those programs because it will not only free up the space the performance of your computer will be better and even if it's a new computer putting off the load is a good thing i mean removing unwanted bloatwares is always a good thing once it is done close this window and the next thing which we need to do is to check the privacy of the computer so just do a right click in the start icon and then go to settings and at the left hand side we have this called privacy and security and here we have many options and you have this speech online speech recognition click on that and by default it is turned on and check whether you have uh, start contributing my voice clips if it is turned on you can stop it because this might you know not be good for you so once this is done again go to privacy and security and there will be diagnostic and feedback now I'll click on that and here we have this send optional diagnostic data help Microsoft improve so this will it's up to you whether you want to turn it off or not, but I will turn it off and it will also save the data in my computer. So I'll just close it and the next thing is to update the windows. Yes, just do a right click, go to settings and here at the left hand side we have update windows update. So if you have paper and pen or if you're using mobile phone, you can note down these steps and you can pause the video and then you can update or do the steps in your computer. Once this is done, check whether your antivirus program, the Windows Security, Windows Defender is working fine or not. So at the bottom right corner, if you click on this up arrow key, you will find the shield icon. I'll just do a double click on that. And here you will see the virus and threat protection has a green check mark. If it's not there, then click on that, fix the issue, scan the computer and I'll click on this virus and do a quick scan as well. Alright, so once this is done, you can install a few very important programs like uh, if you do not have WordPad, then you can install OpenORG um, Word file, that will be good. You can install PDF Adobe Acrobat, which will be good. You can install Google Chrome in your computer and you can simply go to Microsoft Store to install these things in your computer because from Microsoft Store, it will be authenticated. You can read the reviews, which all applications are good. You can install it. All right. So once this is done, you just need to restart the computer and the updating Windows process is also a very important part, which I have already told you. And this might take some time, but once it is done, it will be very good for you. And just do a right click in your computer and go to display settings as well. See what exactly the uh, display is. You can change the brightness according to your vision. All right. And here you can check the display resolution. So here I will click on that and make sure it is selected to the recommended one. And if it's not, then you can change it. You can also change the size of text apps and other items. So here it is recommended for me to 125% and I have done that as well. The next thing is to enable the power options. 
check the power option or create a new power plan for you. So click on the search icon and type power and you will find edit power plan or choose a power plan. So I'll click on choose a power plan. And from here, if you have high performance balanced, if you are a gamer, if you want performance in your computer, you can select ultimate or high performance. If you want uh, a balanced thing where like if you're using your computer for work, I would recommend to keep it balanced. So this will be very good for you. It depends how you want to use your laptop. Like if for gaming, for video editing, you, not, you need high end performance from your computer. So it is recommended if you're using for, I mean your computer for video editing or gaming, you can select the high performance or ultimate performance. But if you, if you have bought this computer for normal work, office work, then you can keep it balanced because this will give you the performance as well as the battery usage will be better. So these are the tips which you can do, I mean, apply in your computer and definitely it will be a better experience with a new laptop. I hope you have enjoyed this very short tutorial. Please hit the like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.